in a moment. talk about this anymore. It's far too upsetting. Mother, please. No, I want you to leave. I mean, just leave. All right. I understand. I just hope that someday you can come and tell me you believe me. No, absolutely not. Just a wee bit mixed up. It's all just a wee bit mixed up. I mean, we don't want to say the wrong thing, do we? Well, <laughs> then proceed, please. We haven't got all day. Yes, yes. I just want... Ah, there we are. I just want to uh, check a few uh, facts. Here. Ah. Uh, yes, well, gentlemen, if you're ready... <clears throat> Nigel, please, get on with it. Well, the uh, carbonization process is very simple. Very simple indeed. Uh, layman's terms. Let me see. Layman's terms. Nigel, Nigel, just relax and give us your latest findings in any terms you wish. Ah, yes, well, of course. Uh, gentlemen, as of yesterday, we subjected the carbonaceous matter to pressures in excess of uh, two million pounds per square inch. And I'm proud to say each run has produced diamonds of industrial grade diamonds of uh, two carats. That's it? What does it mean? Well, it yes. means that we are now going to go one step further by burning carbon in, what is it, Nigel? In excess of oxygen, heating the bicarbonates and releasing uh, the acids thereof. What the hell is he talking about? He's telling us that we now have the new power and the means to direct it. In other words, gentlemen, he is telling us that we now have carbonic snow. But how does that help us do This it? evening, Max, you'll have to wait for this evening's demonstration. <laughs> Albert, you may come in now. <clears throat> Ma! A mid-morning snack, El Papa Mikos. Make sure everyone gets a glass, Albert. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry, Albert. That was my fault. I apologize. It's quite all right, sir. What will we drink to? The future. Our future. Gentlemen, I give you the world. Our glorious new world. Cream rinse. Don't forget cream rinse. Are you making 
fun of me. No, I'm not making fun of you at all. We're on a tropical island. You're shaving me and ripping my skin off with shells. You're worried about uh, your hair. It's a very 60s beach party. I love it. Next, you'll have us dressed for dinner. Not a bad idea. Come on now, help me gather up some ferns and some stuff. I'm gonna make some shampoo and give it my best shot. It's crazy, you know. Well, everything we do is crazy. All right. I'll tell you what. I heard somebody mention a green rinse earlier. I'll make it with coconut oil. You just crack the coconut open, you take out all the meat, and then I'm just gonna smear it all over your head because it smells so fine. All right? any more questions, I guess we all better get back to work. Yes, good idea. Thank you. That was lovely. Oh, really? Wonderful. Share it. Wonderful. Really? Really. You know, all this carbonic snow sounds like a lot of dry ice. Well, it's the same principle that this is used with lower temperatures. But what's so remarkable about the carbonic snow process is that a physician can handle it without danger and still use it in so many practical ways. Precisely, Steve. Well, it sounds very revolutionary. Well, it's just the tip of the iceberg at the moment. <laughs> thank you. Yes, I think, thank I you. Amy, yeah. aren't you coming? Can I talk to you for a second? Well, yes, of course you can. What is it? Well, do you remember when we had that conversation about ethics and a nurse's responsibility to a patient? Yes. Well, I think I should be reassigned. It doesn't matter how hard I try. I just can't seem to be nice to Hutch. All right. I understand your feelings. I mean, nurses are human, too, and sometimes the chemistry between people just isn't right. You mean then I don't have to anymore? No, you don't have to be assigned to Hutch any longer. Thank you. As long as you remember that you can't do this with other patients. Oh, I understand that. All right. Well, come on, let's get back to work. Audrey? Yes? It's not just chemistry with Hutch and me. Oh? No. It's pretty darn hard to be nice to somebody who tried to kill your sister. Oh, I saw a great little river here. Oh, it was so beautiful. Oh, I think, well, why don't we go down and follow it? Where do we go? Yeah. All right. Kimo, you're not 
to interfere with another thing that we do. Is that understood? Tiffany, will you get off his back? He's only doing his job. Oh, well, I didn't want to go into the morning anyway. Hey. I just want to get a great tan. All right. Hey. Hey. Oh, but I bet it has some exotic oh. water. Oh, I've always wanted to go swimming under the water. Forgive me for not getting up. What's wrong? Bad morning, I'm beat. I know how you feel. I had a bad one, too. Well, misery loves company, doesn't it? I heard you went to see Captain Ramsay this morning. Guess it was about me. Right again. I won't even bother to ask about the details. What's that? Nothing. I can't believe this. It's a picture of me in the lineup. Ramsey gave it to me this morning. Yeah, well, what were you going to use it for? Show it to people on street corners, ask them if this was the murderess. Is this the woman that killed Diana Taylor? Why don't you just let me explain, Heather? Explain what? What are you going to say? How much you care about me? All you care about is seeing me in a snake bed for the rest of my life. Look, can't you see that I am the only chance you've got? Now, you listen to me. No, I'm not going to... Hey, stop it! Stop it! I am not going to let you do this, Heather. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm not going to let anybody control my feelings like this again. What feelings? You don't have an ounce of feelings in... I should have taken a lesson from Jeff. I should have looked at Ann's feelings in him. I should have busted you the way Ramsey told me to. But you can't do it, Joe. Don't you know you can't? Watch me. Joe, you're falling in love with me. Why else do you think you sit here in your room alone for hours looking at my picture? I can see it in your eyes. I know the truth. Get out of here, please. Just get out. Joe, I am your friend. So is Diana Taylor. I don't want to fight with you. I just want you to hold me. Please. I'm not 
this time. I'm not falling for it. Do you understand? All right. That's what you want. My name's Joe Kelly. <clears throat> I'd like to know if it's possible for me to have a visit with Sarah Abbott tomorrow. Oh, the water's great. You guys want to try it? No, thanks. I'm not the aquatic type. It's wonderful. No, Alex goes in there for the verbal sport. Oh. And what is that supposed to mean? Oh, nothing. It's just that I heard you shot your mouth off to Victor and Big Bad and Meekles with his step in. That's a lot of garbage, Tiffy. Not from what I heard. I wouldn't have told you that. Well, never mind that. It's just that... Remember that word travels fast. Fine. Mm. Mm. Wait a minute. I don't think this is a real good idea right now. Why not? Because I don't think it's a real good idea right now! Uh, hey, baby, you know, there's a lot of... I don't know where Robert is. We don't, we don't know where... Anybody could be patrolling the island around here. And, come with me, man. Wait. What goes on between the Cassidines and myself is none of your damn business. It is what it involves, my Victor. So why don't you just stick to Tony and be done with it? Victor's way too much of a man for you. And just what the hell are you trying to insinuate? Oh, nothing. I just think that it's interesting that you chose Tony. Interesting? How so? It's such that you just have such over-inflated egos, the both of you. That's it, kiddo. You can say anything you want about me, but not about Tony. Understand, and that is how Tony ever fell for such a triumph. Oh, you little... Come on, come on, let's see what you're made of. Not too much guts, huh? Not like in the movies, is it, Tiffy? Alex. Tiffany! You two stay here. Miss Hill! Miss Hill! 